Hi honeys. How's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Okay, I'm getting ready to package up my George Foreman Beyond Grill so I can take it to Kohl's. So I can take it to Kohl's so Amazon can have it back. Okay, I paid $82 for this air fryer. But now when I checked, I checked yesterday, it was $99. It's a very good air fryer, but it doesn't work for me because I don't have the overhead space for it to open. This is it. Okay, it works very well. But you have to have, I'm gonna measure and let you know how much space, overhead space you have to have. From the top of the handle to my table is 22 inches. So I would say you need at least 24 inches. Space from the open cab, uh, open air fryer to the top of your cabinet. You need about two inches more. So I would say you need about 24 inches overhead space. And I got a little scratch on here because it was scraping my cabinet right there. But they're getting it back. I used it again last night. Well, it was really the wee hours of the morning. I made some fried chicken, air fried chicken. It was breaded. And it turned out very well. Because I used this. Before, I just put my chicken in this pan that comes with it. That's what they say to do when you air fry because it has a top and a bottom heating element. So I put my chicken in there and it didn't look right to me. I didn't like the way my chicken looked. So this is the grill plate that comes with it, but this is mainly for steaks and chops and whatever you want grill marks on. So I didn't use that. I used this. Crisper plate, whatever you call this, is from another air fryer and it fit in here perfectly. I raised my chicken up off that flat bottom so my chicken wasn't sitting in his own grease. And it worked fine. The chicken came out pretty. But I wasn't filming at that time for the morning. So I'm putting all this stuff back. I think this was in a bag. So it don't scratch up nothing. Let's see. But yeah, they can have all this back. Cause it's dangerous with me trying to work with it and pulling it to the very edge of my cabinet. I think it was like this. I ain't sure. So, I went to the post office a little while ago because this company had promised to send me the Dreo Chef Maker air fryer. I'm putting the book inside. And I asked them to let me know when they were sending it so I know when to get it. Of mine already and they haven't let me know anything so I'll check and it wasn't there but a lot of people they be telling me they're gonna send me this or send me that I'm talking about companies even hair wig companies I 
Now we all send you this if you would do a review. What are your what do you charge per video? So I haven't charged anybody anything. So that's just making me pay more taxes, y'all. You have to pay taxes on YouTube videos, what they pay you. What YouTube pays. And if these companies paying you, that's more taxes. And I ain't wanna be bothered. So I just tell them I do the video free for whatever product they're gonna send. So they're getting a good deal. I'm gonna put this back in the box. Hmm. And like I said, it works really well. It does work. And it has so many different functions, seven different functions. And somebody asked me in one of the uh, uh, the comments, somebody asked me, um, why would George Foreman put his name on an air fryer? I said, why not? I mean, it's a very good air fryer. Why do anybody else put their name on the air fryer? Now, if it was junk, I could see the reason for that question, but... Uh-oh. No, I got to put these on here. I almost forgot to put these styrofoam things. Let me figure it out. Let me see. Hmm. So I'm going to air fry me some chicken. I'm going to use my one of my other air fryers. I still got one, two, three, four air fryers here. Five. Still got several <laughs> air fryers here, and I've given away quite a few air fryers. I let my girls come and go shopping. Yeah. Some of them wanted air fryers. Some of them wanted the. Uh, 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 um, pressure cookers. So I think I got a pressure cooker left. Oh, I think all my pressure cookers are gone. Well, I still got more kitchen gadgets than I than I need. Let's go this way or that way. I think it goes this way. And yesterday I told y'all I was taking Walter to the doctor for his after surgery appointment. He says, okay, if I told you what was wrong with him. He had surgery to repair two hernias he had. He had two different kind of hernias. One was an umbilical hernia and the other was some other kind. So it looked like the, the doctor told him it looked like the umbilical hernia is coming back already. So I'm thinking the doctor didn't do his job. So he may have to have surgery again. And he still hasn't fully recovered from the surgery he had last week. So he's not too pleased about that. This is where I got this. Place it in the box. Okay, good. <clears throat> Bring this down so y'all can see what I'm doing. Fits in here nicely. So once again, this is what I'm sending back. The George Foreman Beyond Grill. Very good air fryer. And if I had um, a kitchen island like some people have, I would have loved it. But... didn't work for me so it's going back I was going to continue and use all the different functions I said no I might put around and I'm trying to put it in this outer box I got it 
my full round and okay, here's the other box it was in. One full round and what you call it? Make it fall or get hurt or get burned. Okay, I'll just send it like this. I'm gonna take this. It's packaged up very nicely. They can have it back. I'm so glad that Amazon has that policy that you can send stuff back if it don't work for you. So, it don't work. And I'm kind of disappointed, but I am glad that I can send it back. But it was nerve-wracking to uh, to use it because I was scared, scared to open it because I had to pull it so close to the edge of my counter and then raise it a little bit. And if I uh, raised it and left it raised, it was in danger of falling down. The lid was going to fall down. and I don't want to get burned. It's dangerous. And some people suggested that I put a wooden cutting board or something on my stove and put it on the stove, but I have an overhead fan, hood fan, so it still wouldn't raise. And I do have a, a, a rack over my double sink, over one of the sinks. I wouldn't even want to put it over the sink. Mm -mm. I mean, it would work that way, but no, I wouldn't want to do that. But anyway, I got it boxed up in case um, they later tell me that I didn't put everything in the box. That's why I was showing myself boxing it up. I'll send them the video. So I'm going to get in there and make me some air fried chicken with another air fryer. I'm going to use my, uh, my racist air fryer. My Paula Dean. I know she racist, but that's a good air fryer, y'all. But I still want something different. And I will stick with the drawer type air fryers. You pull out the drawer. I don't want nothing else that raises. Even though my Ninja Foodie Extra Large Grill, it raised. But it was fine. I had enough clearance overhead to use that one. So I, I got, uh, I stopped using that so much on camera because it's so dirty up under the hood. It's hard to clean and it looks nasty. Even though that don't touch the food, it just looks disgusting. So I stopped using that so much on camera. And I do have an air fryer oven by Kasori. And I just use it for baking making pizzas or baking peach cobblers or whatever, making cornbread. I tried air frying chicken in it. It don't turn out the same as a real air, air fryer. So, so if um, the Dreo chef maker people don't send me the air fryer, I'm still looking for another air fryer because I like air fryers. I've gotten spoiled. That's what I like. Some people buy shoes. Some people buy other stuff. I like air fryers. I like kitchen gadgets. So, I'm trying to think what else. Nothing. So, I want to thank you for watching my boxing up. Usually it's an unboxing. Well, this is my boxing back up video so I guess this will be my vlogmas whatever day this is what's the day the 8th or the 9th okay so thanks for watching give me a thumbs up leave a nice comment and subscribe to my channel and you all have a very blessed rest of the day Okay, bye.